It's crazy. It's, it's, oh my god. <laughs> Hello, good morning, it is me. I'm at the airport bright and early, and um, I, I'm about to eat a BLT. I'm really excited about it, I'm so hungry. And then we're gonna trot off to Starbucks and get a matcha, because I really love me a Canadian matcha. So I'm gonna get one of those. I don't think it's fair that at the airport, as a blind woman, I get to skip all the lines except Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> the longest line at the whole airport. <laughs> um, also, I have my treat pouch, the same one I brought to training last year. Um, it's from Lululemon. They're like the best ones because they're super wipeable. They're really comfortable. Oh, you got the same, but mine is a silver. Yeah, you stole mine. I mean, no, like, this is my one. No, I know, but you copied me. <laughs> like, you stole but at least it made a little bit of a difference on mine. So I grabbed it uh, to bring with me. The strap is super adjustable. fits like tons of different sizes. And it's nice and small. It just fits the basics. Mm -hmm. And I opened it and I have one of my hand sanitizers. And I don't know if you guys can see. Can they see the like remnants of treats? Of treats. Of treats. <laughs> so, Let back, me know. back to it. <laughs> Hi, future Molly here to interrupt Molly eating breakfast at the airport. I think we all know that though I was very grateful to have the opportunity to go get a new guide dog so quickly, I also frankly didn't want to be going. I didn't want to have to go. But one of the things that was great about going to Mira is eating such delicious food from the chefs for three weeks straight. I will never say no to that. The food there is always so delicious, almost as delicious as the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. Coming home from Mira is both exciting and terrifying. And one of the most terrifying parts for my mom is that she has to cook food again and doesn't get, yes. <laughs> doesn't get to eat the chef-made meals. Mm -hmm. But she gets to come home to our HelloFresh delivery, which is basically chef-quality food that you get to make at home. Last night we ate this <sighs> meatloaf with these mushrooms and this garlic mash, with this broccoli. Your girl doesn't even like broccoli. Did I eat all of it? Absolutely, because it was freaking delicious. Okay, you get fresh fruits, vegetables, meats, all the ingredients you need delivered to your door with recipe cards. You get to select your different meals. There's so many different categories, including vegetarian, family-friendly, pronto, which are really like quicker, easier recipes. It's Amazing, you will not regret it, and using code MOLLYBRICK16 gets you 16 free meals across seven boxes, plus three free gifts, and who does not love free food and gifts? Not to mention, this saves you time on groceries, you get to actually consume what you buy, and there's no food waste, and you get new recipe ideas every single week. You get to select your meals, and if you wanna change something out, like swap one protein for another, you can definitely do so, which makes it super easy and customizable. So definitely check it out, hellofresh.com slash mollybrook16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes, plus three free gifts. You won't regret it. Now, back to sad Molly at the airport. All right, we made it onto the plane, matcha in hand. I am exhausted. I slept really well last night. My mom literally didn't sleep. Oh, at all. At all. <laughs> she had too much matcha yesterday. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of stress. Yep, a little bit of combination of everything I think. But thankfully I slept, I think because I didn't sleep the night before. We traded off. Yeah, we traded. Um, but I'm so Preferable that Molly slept. <laughs> yeah, well, at least we have a six hour flight. Yeah, I'm exactly. exhausted still. I'm gonna try not to nap too much, though that's hard for me because I am a sleeper. But um, the time change is gonna be rough. Like, I'm gonna have to be up tomorrow at 4 a.m. my time. Ugh. Which is disgusting. <laughs> so, and I'm not a morning person at the best of times. So I'm gonna try not to sleep and listen to podcasts. And, um, which I feel like is probably a combination of stress, PMS, being tired, and the weather. So, maybe sleeping is best. <laughs> Knock myself out so I don't have to feel this headache. Or hear all the kids on this flight. So many children. So we made it to Montreal. I am sitting on a conveyor belt because there's no luggage going around. There is literally hundreds of bags all around not on conveyor belts. There are three different flights who've been sitting here for 45 minutes waiting for our bags. All of the bags that are sitting around here have been here for days. 
like all of the luggage is getting lost. <laughs> There's people coming in after two days to get their luggage. It's crazy. It's it's oh my god. I don't. I we're gonna have to stop at like a Walmart or something if yeah, we don't get our coming. bag tonight. Okay, so they finally made an announcement. And they're like, um, if if your luggage is coming, we just don't know when. <laughs> Uh, you can see all the luggage, and that's just a little bit of it. Those aren't even from our flights. Those were here when we all got here. They're all previous flights. Oh my god. It's crazy. Hello. <sighs> Hello. Good news. We got our bags after almost two hours. And yeah, there. I'm just grateful because there was some people there who were there as long as us, if not longer, and they were told their bags weren't even off the airplanes yet. So, prayers worked. Prayers worked. <laughs> Um, we're on our way. It's Mira. I'm getting a little anxious. I feel like I'm like, part in shock still. You know, does that make sense? Yeah. Like I'm kind of still in shock. Yeah. Like it, and then I also feel like other parts of me are still in denial. Yeah. It um, just feels so strange. To it be just back. feels really strange. Um, I feel like last year, this couple was like, oh my god, I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you around the campus and show you the room. And this time, I'm like, yeah, guys, like, I'm scared. We're at it again. Uh, it's just very different. I'm honestly just really hoping I don't meet anybody tonight. Like, I, everybody else has been there for over a week, like I said in the last video, and they have their dogs already. And um, I feel like it's a sign from God, like a positive sign from God, that like the fact that there was a last minute opening and I happened to be able to rearrange my schedule to get out here when there's like- It's a miracle. Mm -hmm. It's like, it feels like a miracle. Like it feels like, how the hell was I that lucky? And so I feel like in that sense, it feels like God's looking out for me, even though it feels like he's punishing my family and I in a lot of other ways. That's what I'm holding on to right now. It's like, there's been a lot of weird little signs from God that this is gonna be okay. And I'm just clinging to those right now. But I really honestly hope I don't run into anybody tonight. Like I'm just gonna try to sneak into my room, take a shower, wash my hair. I forgot to put on deodorant and I'm sweating. So I feel like I smell and I'm tired. And like I said, I'm not feeling great. It's, it's anyway, I'll talk to you when I'm there. Okay, I just got to Mira. Okay, full disclosure, I've actually been here for almost a week now. Um, tomorrow is one week into training. The day that I traveled here, last today's Sunday, so on Monday, when I traveled here, as you guys saw, I was like, you know, I was just anxious and stressed and emotional and feeling so many feelings and feeling none at the same time. Like, I was in shock, I was numb, I was in denial, I was just going through a lot. And so, we, I didn't get all the footage <laughs> I planned to get and it kind of ended abruptly. So I am here to fill in a few gaps. So when our taxi pulled in, I could hear some of the girls sitting outside and I could tell that they were waiting for me. I could hear things like, she's here. And to be honest, um, I just really needed time to myself. I was really excited to meet the other people, but I just needed time and to yeah just have an evening to myself so i snuck in <laughs> the front door instead of the back door and i just asked the volunteer to let the girls know that i just needed some time that i was really excited to meet them but tomorrow tuesday that was great and i ate some dinner in the room had a shower washed my hair which i desperately needed to do but the most exciting part that I wasn't expecting is that when I arrived, they asked me if I wanted to see Ben. And I said yes. So pretty soon after getting here, they brought Ben into the room. And that is where this video ends. And the next episode begins being reunited with Ben and saying our last goodbye. So prepare to be emotional. That's all I'm going to say. Watch at your own risk. Bring tissues because this was my goodbye and it, it's also your goodbye. So get ready. Buckle up, buttercup. Also, the only other thing I wanna say, I learned when I got here, sometimes because I'm communicating with Frenchies, a lot of them have great English, but um, there can still be translation issues. I had thought that a last minute spot had opened up in class, but that wasn't actually the case. It was like a teeny class. So there's actually only two people getting guide dogs. So it's me and two other girls, they're 22 and 16 and both speak English, which has been wonderful. I, later in the series, will introduce you to both of them. They're actually both killer bees. So it's three of us, one trainer, 
and our O&M instructor. I, this is the smallest class I've ever had. Usually classes at Mira are six people or eight people. Obviously more trainers, two to three trainers and an O&M instructor. So my last class was six people, three trainers and an O&M instructor. But, and my previous classes were eight people. They do have a September class, which is six people and they're all first timers. And they have a November class, which is, I think, eight people, and they're all returning clients. But their July class was just two girls. They're both wonderful. You'll love both of them. I'm so happy. It's been really lovely. Such a small class. Like, it's basically felt like a private class. There have been so many tears shed. <laughs> Hasn't there, Mom? Oh, but so many. Daily. Multiple times. I think all three of us cry at least once a day. Um, the 16 year old is getting her first dog and she came through Mira USA. The 22 year old is getting her second dog. And as you all know, I've said many times, the second dog is a really hard transition, like famously difficult in the guide dog community. And getting your first dog is super overwhelming because it's all new. And frankly, just getting a guide dog is overwhelming. I think if, I, I hope that if there's anything you took away from the last series, doing this in September, it's that these dogs are life-changing, but coming to training is not like fun and games. There's fun moments, but it's hard work. It's emotionally, mentally, and physically draining. You eat and sleep more than you ever usually need to. Yeah, so they're both killer bees, which has been really cool. And uh, they both agreed to be interviewed and share their experiences and thoughts um, so that you guys can hear different perspectives. Also, I want to remind you that my fundraiser for Mira is always happening. Like I never stopped, it's still going. The GoFundMe is still up and running and all of my guide dog or dog related merch in my merch shop, 100% of proceeds still get donated. So if you'd like to support Mira, um, please do so. They've been such a huge support to me. If you'd like to give back to them so that more people can continue to receive life-changing dogs, definitely do so. And there will be GG updates, I promise, coming soon. And there was actually at the same time, there was two other girls here, 14 and 18, for guide dog summer camp. They weren't here to receive dogs. They were just here for a two week trial uh, or like 10 day trial to test out dogs and work with the O&M instructors and guide dog trainers, but they weren't a part of the class. So overall, um, they've actually gone home at this point. I was only here for like three days with them by the time I arrived and they were leaving. So yeah, I was wrong. A spot hadn't opened up for me. There was always a spot because only two girls were here getting dogs. So I'm not sure why, but that's the tea. That's what's up and get ready for the next video. It's gonna be a wild ride. Okay, um, until next time, you can click over here to see an adorable video with Ben Ben or over here for another adorable video with Ben Ben. Coming up in the next video. I just got to Mira and they asked me, do you want us to go to Ben <laughs> from the kennel? <gasps> oh, okay. Maybe we should cut for a little bit. <laughs> I, this, it's a, this is what the video is going to be. I don't know <laughs> how cutting will help. I've got my box ready. I suggest you do as well. This might even be harder than announcing the end of Ben's career. Coming up in the next video. I just got to Mira and they asked me, do you want us to go to Ben <laughs> from the kennel? <gasps> oh, okay. Maybe we should cut for a little bit. <laughs> I, this, it's a, this is what the video is going to be. I don't know <laughs> how cutting will help. Um, can you talk? Yeah. I've got my box ready. I suggest you do as well. I'm gonna see my boy for the first time in a month. Hello. <coughs>